the distributive law gives us an alternate way to evaluate expressions and still arrive at the same answer. Think of it this way: you can drive to the store or walk to the store. Regardless of your choice, you will arrive at the same destination. You can think of the distributive law in the same way: different methods, same outcome. Here, let's look at an example. Given this question, one method we could use to solve is to apply our knowledge of order of operations. To start, simplify within the brackets. Three plus four is seven. Now perform the multiplication. Five multiplied by seven is thirty-five. Another way to solve this is to use the distributive law. This method tells us to distribute the leading term into each term within the set of brackets. So five is multiplied by three, and five is multiplied by four. Simplify within the brackets. Five multiplied by three is fifteen, and five multiplied by four is twenty. Adding these values gives us thirty-five. Notice that this is the same outcome as the first method. Let's look at this visually. Using order of operations, three plus four can be shown like this. And when multiplied by five, it becomes five rows of seven. Using the distributive law, five times three can be shown like this: five rows of three. Five times four can be shown like this: five rows of four. Adding them together looks like this: five rows of seven. From this, we can see that there are different methods that provide us with the same outcome.